day one of trying to kite uh, the para okay the parasail. So what we did was we've got uh, four kites with us. We brought one down today. It's the smallest one, and we're here uh, down at the ocean trying to figure out how to do this. Uh, yes, this is not something that you can get pulled into the water with. This isn't something that you can take off into the air with, but we thought, hey, you know what? We've never done this before, ever. So we kind of have to start somewhere. And um, this is what we decided to do. This is a, let me take a quick look here, hold on. This is a uh, Power Kite 250 Pro, and it comes, it comes in this cool sack. And in about, where is he? There he is. In about, uh, two three minutes we had the thing laid out ready to go uh, and up in the air so I took it up first kind of got a little sense and feel for it and then I gave my now nine-year-old son the controls on this kite and I'm gonna walk down here go ahead and hold still so I can catch up with you and he's doing really well so all right so this is the first first couple minutes of flying what do you think so far uh, it's pretty hard it's hard and easy and it has a lot of pull especially for me yeah it does have a lot of pull does it feel like with this size of kite it's something that would pull you up into the air a little bit when it's about to crash a little bit when it's about to crash I so i'm gonna go ahead yeah he wishes that it would take off but we're not there yet so i'm gonna go ahead and conclude this episode number one and uh our mission here at the beach takeoffs here we pretty much got it figured out we've got our three lines we've got his right riser left riser and then the uh, basically it's the middle line in case you wanted to make it drop uh, or fall uh, or just lose control or if it flips over that's how you pull on that so literally it's gonna take off with no problem at all all right buddy you ready and three two one Finding the wind, finding the wind. There we go. No problem whatsoever. All right, so he's been flying now for like the last 15 minutes. And uh, I think he's got a pretty good feel for it now. Amazing. All right, big guys, so what do you think now? You've been able to fly for a little bit. It pulls and that's fun, huh? Yep. Should I do a figure eight? Yeah, do a figure eight. Let me point the camera up there. All right, go. Get some close, but... Good one. Good one. Good. Good. And I'll show you do it. All right, do it again. That figure eight? Yep, go. A tip scraper. Oh, yeah, do it again. We just got done flying for what? About an hour, hour and a half? I'd say uh, an hour and a half. Okay, so mm -hmm. when you first thought about doing this, what were your thoughts? Like, were you excited? Uh, were you intimidated? Were you scared? It, were you happy? What was it? It was, I was excited and it was also very hard. Yeah. But it, it was still fun. Yeah, what was hard about it? It, it was hard to control it because it kept pulling me. Yeah. But then I figured out how to control it. 
Nice, nice, nice. The wind's out here at the beach, uh, the ocean, you know, the winds are coming right off. Probably five, five to eight. Uh, not super hard, but for a little guy like this, mm -hmm. uh, he did super great. And again, this is on the, uh, the Rush 250 Pro. And uh, so you did it for like an hour. Mm -hmm, straight. Straight. And did you let me try it? Once. Once. Okay. Okay. So the teacher here, the guy that's supposed to be learning, actually didn't get much of a chance to try it. <laughs> but it was still super awesome and super fun. Uh, would you try it again? Yeah. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> and we've got a couple different kites because our friend Dragon gave us a few to try. Uh, do you want to stick with this one? Do you want to go to the bigger one, or does it kind of depend on the wind? Uh, it depends on the wind, and uh, I want to do it where he gets one, and then I get to use one, and we both got to do it at the same time and do the double loop. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Yeah, once we figured out how to fly the thing, um, it was kind of fun. You could go ahead and, and pull on the one riser, and it would do a loop. And then, with Dragon's help and a little bit of encouragement, if you pulled on the opposite riser, you could make it untwist. Or, if you pulled on the one riser hard enough, you could take the bar and flip it over. But, uh, but it could be an epic fail and crash. It could be an epic fail and crash. But the cool thing about it is, is that literally, um, it wants to fly. It wants to go with the wind. Uh, if you have it pointed the right direction, the thing wants to take off, not in a violent way, but just in something that was safe and pretty much fun, wasn't it? Yeah, it was really fun. All right, cool. So we're gonna go ahead and sign out uh, for this episode, but we will talk to you guys again soon. Are you ready? Three, two, one.